a vindictive fairy is driven to curse an infant princess, only to realize that the child may be the only one who can restore peace. This is my review of Maleficent. The trailers for Maleficent looked good, and the best parts of the trailers for Maleficent were the parts of Angelina Jolie as Maleficent, because she really looked like her. And based off the trailers, it seemed like that Maleficent was going to be this new, like, take on the Sleeping Beauty story. And that's what Maleficent was when I saw it with my dad, and I think that Maleficent is a good movie. The good points. For me, the best part about this movie was Angelina Jolie's Maleficent because she owned that character throughout the entire movie. And in my opinion, she gave an amazing performance since she has been on a film since... I can't remember the last time she was in a movie. I know she directed a movie two years ago, but I can't remember the last time she was actually in a movie. But with Maleficent being her first comeback movie, I thought she did an amazing job. I thought that Charlotte Copley also did a good job in Maleficent playing the king. And I liked his performance because you got to see um, how this king was losing his sanity and how he was like going crazy. The costumes and sets are the next best thing about this movie because um, the costumes and the sets made you feel like you're in this fairy tale world. And whoever did the costumes and the sets did an incredible job. And I wouldn't be surprised if they got nominated at the Oscars. The visual effects were really good as well. I thought that there were many realistic moments. And I thought that some of the best realistic moments were with Maleficent when she was flying. The score of this movie was done well too because it sounded like there was a mixture of classic and modern day scoring because with the classic scoring in this movie, it sounded like that there was music that you would hear in a um, classic animated Disney movie. And with the modern day music, it sounded like it's music that I would hear in a modern day um, fairy tale story. And I thought overall the mixture between the classic and the modern day scoring was done very well. I found some of the directing to be good and interesting because um, whoever directed this movie did a good job, especially during the climax. I think the director's best scene was with the climax scene. And I thought that there were other parts throughout the movie where um, the director did a good job as well. And the final good point to say about Maleficent is the makeup. I thought the makeup was done well, especially with Maleficent because um, even though Angelina Jolie had the costume on, I thought that the makeup artist did a good job um, with the makeup on her face to even make it seem like more that she is Maleficent. The bad points. One of the things that I didn't like about Maleficent was with Ella Fanning, who played Aurora. Because some of Ella Fanning's um, acting, I thought it could have been a little bit better. But I don't think that Ella Fanning was the entire problem about why she, um, her character didn't work in the movie. I thought that the writing was a little bit bad for her as well. Because there are some moments when there's one scene transitioning into another scene where her mood switches on the flip of a dime. Because at one moment she'd be like happily and giggly, and then the next scene she'd be like really saddened and mad. And then later on she would be forgiving and good-hearted and I just thought that her mood switching around like that wasn't really that good because it wouldn't make sense. I thought the prince was shoehorned in this movie and I didn't like the actor who played the prince because I thought his acting wasn't that good. And another thing is that I didn't really care for the prince character because he barely had any screen time and he was like pushed forward into these scenes where it was like a really important scene but it's like you didn't really care about this character because we barely know him. And then the prince character comes in the ending scene and I didn't like him in the ending scene because again he didn't feel that important and it was like why are you here? And that's another thing I didn't like about this movie was the ending because the writers tried to um, tie this movie into a perfect bow and it didn't work for me because of the events that happened before the ending. I thought that there was an overuse of visual effects at some moments because 
at certain moments I thought like I don't know why there's visual effects over here because that could have been made into a cool set or I thought to myself like I don't know why there's visual effects here because there could have been some cool stunt work. And the final bad thing I'll say about Maleficent is that the directing and writing are at fault with some pacing issues, some scene development, and some character development. And that was the main issue with the Prince character was that we didn't really care for his character because he didn't have enough development in the movie. And we felt like that his character didn't have any importance throughout the movie. And I found that the pacing in this movie was a little bit bad because it like was on a roller coaster and sometimes it's good when pacing is on a roller coaster like from like um fast pacing to slow pacing but they did it like so um frequently and so like inconsistently that it was like it was a, it felt like a little bit bad to me and that was the problem with developing some of the scenes because um, if like the pacing is off for some certain scene and you're trying to give out a certain emotion in that scene and when the pacing is off you don't really feel that emotion and I thought that there were some scenes that were trying to portray a certain emotion but um, weren't doing so because of the pacing of, of, of um, those scenes. Alright ratings for Mulefs and like I said I saw this movie with my dad and my dad gives this movie a 3.25 out of 4 stars while I give the same score a 3.25 out of 4 stars, I think it's a good movie to see if you haven't seen it yet, especially if you want to take your children to the movie theater. If you know the Sleeping Beauty story and you've watched the movie, then you'll notice that there are, there's like a lot of change between the story that you know or the movie that you've watched to um, Maleficent, because the story mainly surrounds Maleficent's point of view. So that was my review for Maleficent, hope you guys liked it, and other than that, that's it.